Praise the Lord. Um, I hope you are all doing well. I thank the Lord for the free gift of life that he has given us. And it is a great day. Indeed, um, today is on 11th and oh, days are flying, guys. So today our topic is praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And most of us are so quick to, you know, when you meet with brethren and there's a lot of noise, but I hope you can hear me. So um, I was saying that most of us are brethren. When we meet, most of the times we're like, praise the Lord. Ah, bona yesu asifu, bona yesu asifu. But in real sense, it is not easy. Or um, most of us don't really actualize that. Praise the name of the Lord. So today I want us to focus on what is really praising the Lord and what, what, what are the benefits or what is in, uh, what is uh, what are the benefits uh, of praising God, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So we are going to read from the book of Psalms chapter 103, 103, verse 1 to 2. The Bible says, bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. So this is David who is speaking and he is saying, bless the Lord, O my soul. Praise the name of the Lord. And he says that all that is within me, praise the Lord. Your lungs, your kidneys, your mouth, your nose, your ears, praise the Lord. Do you praise the Lord with all that is within you or you just use some? You know, you can clap your hands when it's present worship. You can dance for the Lord by, you know, with everything that is within you. Then verse 2 says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. So the Bible tells us that there is a possibility that people will forget some of the benefits that we have received. And so the Bible tells us and reminds us that we need to remember all that the Lord has done in our lives. Praise the name of the Lord. The other day we were looking at what have you been praising God on from the month of January to the month of October? Or do you just generally say, thank you God for everything that you have done? And this, these are the reasons to why, you know, you, you don't have to own a car or to get surprised on a billboard for you to praise the Lord. They are very basic, unique, things that we have and we take them for granted. One would be yeah, forgiveness of your sins. By the way, do you know the power that is in when you have wronged someone and they tell you that, by the way, I have forgiven you. And you knew very well that they couldn't even forgive you. Maybe we can give an example of somebody, you took some money and, and you haven't paid. And then that someone just tells you, you know what? You're my friend. Uh, it's okay. Don't pay the money. It feels, you know, that feeling, that is something to be grateful to God for. You can praise God because of the forgiveness of sins. Number two, healing of diseases. Most of us have been sick. I remember there's a time I was having a skin disease and I can tell you it was not good. It was really bad. You can imagine, you know, it was really, really bad. And I remember doing a challenge of 100 days. It was in 30 days of Thanksgiving. And I was telling God, thank you for healing. Yet I was sick. Because there are some times that uh, some diseases or some things, you need to praise God as if they, had, they are done. Hallelujah. Number three, redeemed. You know, you have been redeemed from a pit. There are times when you look back and say, Manze, come and see God. I don't know where I would be. That is a reason to praise the Lord. Just to receive love and mercy. You have a family who loves you. By the way, guys, there are people out here who don't feel the warmth and the love of their parents because they have parents who are toxic. So just having family that acknowledges you and loves you is something that you need to be grateful for. Being accepted at the place of work that you can have a colleague you can talk with or you can even eat lunch with, it's a blessing and you need to say thank you to God. The God who brings justice to you, that even when you didn't know how you would solve a case, God did it for you and he fought for you. That is something that you need to be grateful for in the name of the Lord. You know, we have so many things that we can 
praise God for. So even if something that uh, you have been trusting God for has not happened, you still have a reason to say thank you, God, for the things that you have done. Even you watching this broadcast right now is something that you need to be grateful to God for because there are people who don't have maybe access to this. There are people who are ill. They don't have the energy to listen to this. But you have a reason to praise the Lord. Now, let me go back to what is praising God. Number one, um, praise means acknowledging the wonderful deeds of God. Acknowledging. Number two, it may mean joyful recounting of what God has done. Joyful recounting. Sikusema tu, you know, you have done, but joyfully recounting the goodness of God. The other thing, or the other meaning can be lifting God high. And there's one statement I want to make, that the level of your praise is equals to the level of revelation. The more you know, the more you praise. Hallelujah. So um, praising God brings about humility. I will get into that as the power of praise. So meaning that in praise, there is no room for pride. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise is a choice that you make. Just like complain is a choice that you make. So you might wake up one morning and decide, you know what? I'm going to praise God because of the things he has done. I am going to praise God for the things he has not done. So it is a choice that you make. And you can also wake up. And decide today I'm going to be just complain, 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 complain. Some of us have made um, our friends to be a room for complain. So anytime you see them, you just want to talk to them. And by then, if you want to realize something, is that complain requires odd audience. Yani, we always complain with people. We always think, "Oh, this is new, important, and fun." In most cases, you will have to have an audience for you to be able to complain well. Now, there was a statement I also want to make that the same way God hears our praise is the same way God hears our complaints and murmuring. So God hears. And we can see that from the book of Numbers chapter 11, where we see the Israelites complained and murmured, murmured before God. So what is uh, murmuring or complaining? It's repeatedly voicing out dissatisfaction. Oh, I've not been done this. Oh, this has not been done. Oh, this has been not been done. Yes. And it is repeatedly. So it doesn't just happen once. You meet with this friend, you tell them. You meet with the other one, you tell them. By the way, it can be so boring. So let's look at um, some few things here. We may feel like praising. Sorry, we may, we may not feel like praising, but we ought to praise. Complaints annoys God. And you can see that from the book of Numbers, chapter 11. Yani God was so annoyed because now they're still complaining and saying that they should go back to where they had come from. So praise, I mean, um, complaints annoys God. And of course, you can know that praises, you know, makes God dwell within his, his people. And you shall that, see that from the book of Psalms. Meanwhile, I want us to go through what is the power of praise? What can praise do? What can acknowledging the wonderful deeds of God do? What can be, what can uh, lifting God up be? Number one, it gets our focus off ourselves and back on God. So when you praise God, you acknowledge that it is not about you, it's all about God. And we're going to see that from the book of Psalms, chapter 35, verse 28. Psalms, chapter 35, verse 28. The Bible says, it's the last verse. Then my tongue shall tell of your righteousness and of your praise all the day long. Then my tongue shall tell of your righteousness and of your praise all the day long. So it is not about me. It now goes back to God. You acknowledge that it is about God. And that takes us to our number two point, which is humility. That when you are, uh, you're praising God, you now 
come to a position of it see mimi nimefanya it is all about god and so you are able to go down if any things most of the things that you have done you have maybe ni wewe umefanya but now you don't acknowledge yourself you know if it was not for god then i couldn't have done this and this so it brings about humility and you know very well that the benefit of humility is that you're going to be uplifted praise the name of the lord most of us are not uplifted because we do not praise god as a result of pride and that's why i started by saying that in praise there is no room for pride hallelujah So um number 3 let, let's just look at Psalms 95 verse 2 to 3 Psalms 95 Psalms 95 verse 2 to 3 The Bible says Let us come into his presence with that giving Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise So we are requested to come to the Lord to his presence with thanksgiving a lot of us come to god through complaints mungu janifanya hivi mungu akiwewe kwani unioni mungu kwani you know we come to the lord with a lot of complaints instead of coming to the lord with thanksgiving and making joyful noise to him with songs of praise and why are we doing this for the lord is a great god and a great king above all gods so when we do this we when we praise we acknowledge that god is great he is the king above all gods number 4 it leaves no room for complaining and negativity aki i don't know if you have ever have had friends who like compl- who likes complaining from the morning that you meet with them to the evening they will just complain oh i don't know what is wrong with this job oh i don't know what is wrong with this dress i don't like it i think i should have gotten better than this and i can assure you that is the most boring place to be in and so you know you just want to get out of that place what is the same with god yani mungu ametubariki na vitu vizuri but we continue complaining may the lord help us to stop complaining and come to his presence with thanksgiving and with joyful noise with songs of praise Psalms 103 verse 2 to 3 to 4 Psalms 103 Psalms 103 verse 2 and 3 4 of course i had read this but bless the lord of my soul and forget not all his benefits who forgives all your iniquity who heals all your diseases who redeems your life from the pit who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy who satisfies you with good so that your youth is renewed like the eagles the lord works righteousness and justice for all who are oppressed he made known his way to moses his acts to the people of israel the lord is merciful and gracious slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love he will not always chide nor will he keep his anger forever He does not deal with us according to our sins nor repay us according to our iniquities for as high as the heavens are above the earth so great is his steadfast love towards those who fear him as far as the east is from the west so far does he remove our transgressions from us praise the name of the lord so basically when you get a chance to praise god there's no going to, there's no going to be a room for complaints because you can see all these benefits yeah? satisfies you with good you know renews your your youth uh, your strength uh-huh he causes justice you know he takes away all the diseases and heals you so i mean how are you even going to get an opportunity to complain and even negativity because you will be able to see what god has done in your life the other thing is that our spirits are refreshed anytime you look back and say the time i was sick i was not able to even walk but now i am able thank you god that means that you are refreshed and you know that even if right now you're feeling down there is going to come a time when god is going to uplift you because he did it before he can still do it today praise the name of the lord so our spirits are refreshed and even our belief increases you can find that in the book of psalms 16 verse 11 hey, today we are doing psalms my friends psalms 16 verse 11 you know you make known to me the path of life in your presence there is fullness of joy at you, at your right hand are pleasures forevermore in your presence there is fullness of joy so they're saying that 
uh, uh, this belief is increased because you know that God did it before. So you're going to be joyful because you know, even now, God is not limited. And the more so, or the, the main point here is that when you praise, you invite God's presence. Most of us are looking for God's presence in, our, in, in, in uh, this uh, forest or even places uh, where you hear there's a prophet, there's an apostle. But when you praise God, you invite his presence in your life. Let's see the book of Psalm chapter 2 verse 3. Psalms chapter 2 verse 3, the Bible says, uh, let us burst their bones apart and cast away their cause from us. I think no, it shouldn't be, should be Psalm chapter 3 verse 2. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, but I'm missing it. But basically, is that um, God dwells in the presence of his, or of the praise of his people. So when you praise God, you invite the presence of God. And you know, when the presence of God comes in your life, you will never be the same again. When the presence of God comes in your life, if you are unwell, you get well. When you, you, you praise the Lord and his presence comes, you never remain the same. Praise the name of the Lord. So um, we are learning that God requires of us to praise him. Let us stop complaining because we have seen one of the things that annoys God is complaints. And if you human beings can be annoyed by someone who complains, and we say complaint is regarding, it is repeatedly, yeah? If it, if, it, if it continues to, you know, just complain, 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 then God is going to uh, remove or maybe he's not going to be happy, he's going to be angry with you. So uh, that is the word of God. And I hope and pray that God is going to help us and enable us to be people who praise him. Sometimes we don't feel like praising God, but it is high time. We praise him because when we praise him, we're going to get all these benefits. Hallelujah. So we're going to have an uplift. Uh -huh. We're going to have an, a, a positive uh, or rather no negativity around us. Uh -huh. Our spirits are going to be refreshed or else we're going to be, um, uh, we're going to have the, the presence of God in our lives. Our beliefs are going to be increased. So we're not going to remain the same again. Uh huh. What else? Mm. What else? What else? What else? Yeah, we are going to focus on God rather than ourselves. So it is high time that we start focusing on what God has done, on what God is doing, and and start uh, and stop complaining on what God has not done. Praise the name of the Lord. Today, I would like to give you an assignment. Just take your time and look at the things that God has done in your life. Since you were young, up to date, just praise God. Hallelujah. And with that, I would like to appreciate each and everyone who has joined. God bless you so much. Thank you for being here. I am so honored. Have a lovely afternoon and God bless you. Amen.